Hi all, how are you? Good, Great. nice to see you. Good to have well, you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> no, well, thank you. It's wonderful to be speaking to you because I'm I'm a huge fan of the film and I love this series. And I, I'm curious to start with Nathan. When it came to finding a way to continue this franchise, what led to it taking the form of this series of Disney Plus shorts? Again, the the the, the applause goes to Trent Corey. Uh, he does. So in our Disney animation studio, uh, everyone in our studio has an opportunity to pitch ideas. And so uh, one of the ideas that came out of this pitch program was Trent pitching the ideas for these shorts. Uh, and again, a lot of credit goes to to Byron and and Jared, uh, the original directors, uh, and and obviously Clark Spencer, who's our president, and Jennifer Lee, who are like, how do we make the world of Zootopia more inviting? How can we bring people further in? And I think through Trent's pitch program and then Josie coming in with Josie's background and story, but also working more on Zootopia really kind of infused the originality of the series. Um, so yeah, it's it's been incredible. Awesome. And because Josie and Trent, well, would you say it was particularly challenging for you both to find ways to tell these stories and obviously tie into the movie and these little moments that we maybe didn't think that much of at the time and now expanded on in these just really wonderful ways? I, I gotta say, I, I I didn't find it challenging. I found it fun. I mean, it it was really like we there were so many ideas, Josh, that we because the first movie is so rich and and the work that Josie and the team did on there, you want to revisit, um, you know, the the Oasis uh, Springs, or you want to go to Little Rodentia, or you want to see more of Godfather. So yeah, I saw it as just uh, an invitation to say, come play in the sandbox and. And just a privilege to be in there. And, and it really was in terms of interweaving in the film, Josie, that was fun, right? How can we how can we move the camera over and show Stu hops on the roof of the train or, or you know, what's what's just off screen? Uh, I found that really fun. Yeah, that was uh, again, I'm going to credit Trent Corey for coming up with that idea that this would be, you know, what happens after Judy, Judy's parents have said goodbye to, you know, Judy as she's gone off for Zootopia and then we stayed with them. Or, you know, let's give a little backstory on Mr. Big, one of my favorite characters from the original, and also have an homage to Godfather 2. <laughs> um, how much fun is that? And then also, but in the same sort of series, then play with reality TV and show something so vastly different from um, anything that we've ever seen and, and do like the real mouse live. So uh, it was a real joy to play, like you said, Trent, in this sandbox of Zootopia. Amazing. Yeah. And, and of course, you know, there, as you said, there are so many genres that come into play here from a big musical number to a reality TV series. So was that variety, obviously you, Nathan, being the producer, something you wanted to make sure was a priority. And so we weren't just seeing, I suppose, the same stories over and over, that there were all different ways you could explore this Zootopia world. Absolutely. I mean, Trent came up with the idea of how can we fit different genres and and looking at Zootopia as a another kind of extension of of what we know a city to be. And so in every city, there are different types of people, different types of uh, things that people are into and Zootopia is no different. So the genres was more about actually just, we keep saying the word fun, but a, an extension of how do you make six shorts feel independently fun in different ways. And I think that, that Trent and Josie did a phenomenal job of saying, who are these characters? And now how can you use film and specifically the genre of film and TV to lean into their personalities? And I think from an audience perspective, you get a glimpse of you, you are in Zootopia watching TV shows like The Real Rodents of Little Rodentia, uh, which I have not seen an animated series do this before. And so I think being able to have this kind of new opportunity, new frontier and using Zootopia as that platform, such a great experience. And, uh, and Josie, for us, I, I think I, I can add to that and just say, as filmmakers, it was so fun playing with the different genres because our whole team invested themselves in that. So it was, it, I felt like, Josie, we were in a master class, right? Our, our heads of cinematography would come and show us what different types of lenses were used for a period piece such as Godfather or how fast the camera swooshes uh, during uh, the real road. And so it, the whole team dove into it. And that's what makes Disney Disney, right? Everybody believes in the research and they dive in head first and they, mm -hmm. they just deliver quality time and time again. Absolutely. 
Awesome. And I have to ask Flash, I know like a lot of people, he's a favorite character of mine. I think he's become iconic since the movie came out. So for you, Josie and Trent, how much fun was it to revisit him here for what I think is probably fair to say has to be every waiter's worst nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Josh, it was really a challenge because the original scene, um, the DMV scene from Zootopia was just perfection, mm -hmm. comedic timing and everything. So for me, I was kind of stressing out about really getting it right. Um, and that's where Trent, you had such a take on it from the very beginning, um, knowing, you know, you stayed really true to um, original ideas that you had, which is really great to know that, um, I don't know, it was great. It's a great partnership directing with you, honestly. Um, yeah, and I think we would... We I remember though separate. that pressure, Josie. You're talking about oh, yeah. how, do you, how do you how do you even get close to the DMV? It's a perfect scenario, and we were lucky enough to to I, and Josie, you've spoken to this a lot that uh, the slots don't change. They are who they are, and we love them for it. And so we found uh, we found a great actress named Charlotte Nickdow uh, to come play the part of Sam, the server, and that played a really important uh, important role in that short to make. Uh, her likable and and she's just she's earnestly trying to do a great job and she's just in this situation that uh, you know is has a fast ticking clock so oh, that's brilliant I love the episode and you know you've all worked on so many great Disney animation properties obviously Zootopia but things like Once Upon a Snowman Ralph Breaks the Internet or Ray and the Last Dragon but I'd, I'd love to know I, I always love watching those Disney Plus documentaries about Disney animation but for you all as filmmakers, what's the most fun thing about, about getting to work at, at Disney Animation every day? Oh, you know, for, for me, it was a dream come true. I, I wanted to be a traditional animator, a 2D animator. Um, and then I discovered it was, as I went to school that I was terrible. <laughs> I could not get it. I mean, and so to work with Trent, who is a great 2D animator and 3D animator, um, it was real. It was a joy. It was like being a kid going to animation dailies. Josh was like seeing the modern day um, nine old men, you know, and, and now they're women and all these different uh, folks from all over the world to get to do their craft. And I was just in heaven. <laughs> so, yeah, it yeah, was a the collabor collaboration, right, Josie? It's, uh, yeah. it, you know, as we have both worked here a, a little while and, and Nathan as well. And, and yeah, you know, you work on films like Frozen or Zootopia or Moana. They they go big and out into the universe. But I, I all my memories from all those films have to do with the team and the collaboration. And 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 I got to say, Zootopia Plus took it for me. Just this crew right here and the whole leadership team and all the artists inside our building on Zoom, but here in Burbank, uh, just amazing collaboration. Yeah, and same for you as well, Nathan. I, absolutely. I mean, the the people are what make this process make me want to come in and make films every single day. I can't draw. So Josie, I still can't animate and I still can't draw. <laughs> but to be around people who can um, and, and who actually want to collaborate, um, there's, there's a, our studio does such a phenomenal job of acknowledging everyone's skill sets um, that comes from all over the world that we're able to do everything that we love every single day. It, it's, it's just a dream come true to work here. Yeah, Nathan might not be able to draw, but he's real good with spreadsheets, Josh. Uh, <laughs> Excel, bring it to me. Yes. Oh, and just very quickly, Nathan, you are the producer on this project, so I have to ask you this one. What do you think the chances are we could see Zootopia back on the big screen somewhere down the line, do you think? I'm I'm optimistic. <laughs> um, I can't, I don't really know much more than that, quite honestly, but I think that the, it is clear that the world of Zootopia, the character of Zootopia, is something that the rest of the real world wants to see more of. And I think our studio would love to do more. Um, so I think time will just tell. Oh, well, fingers crossed. For, in the meantime, can't wait for people to see this one. Thank you so much for your time. I really loved what you all did here. So, so it's been lovely speaking to you. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it.